just as we did on the other side. Just run that tip. You notice I'm only in about a half of an inch. You don't want to be way in there or you're going to, you're going to slice the fish all up. With these smaller fish, they're so, they're so good to eat, but you want to utilize all the meat that you can possibly get. We'll do the same thing as we did on the other side. Now we're at the tail. Now we're ready to insert the blade in. Again, just like we did on the other side. Insert that knife tip. You want to feel the spine with your knife tip. Make sure that you're up and over it, not underneath. Make sure you're up over it. Again, right through the back. You can see where I've got the knife tip coming through the back, just as I did on the other side, just in front of this fin. Once again, just back up and out. Again with the tip, tip of the blade. Just keep running it down. You'll feel the spine. As you work your way down, you want to insert your thumb. I get my thumb right in there and I can, I can hold the flesh away while I'm working with the knife. So you just keep working the knife along, peel it back some more, and repeat the process. Now for you beginners, go ahead and use a, use a towel. It'll be easier to hold on to the tail that way. Again, these, these rib cage bones on a fish like this, they're nice and delicate. You can cut right through them with a sharp fillet knife. It shouldn't be any problem at all. Right through. Go right up until you can't go any further. Right up to the head. Okay, there's our fillet. Now, I'd like to point out, the, fir the first side that you do is going to be the easiest. The opposite side takes a little bit more. Uh, it's a little trickier because now what you've got, you can see how thin that is now. We've removed virtually all the meat from the bone. At this point, it's a little bit trickier. All you need to do is to just continue that same technique with the knife blade and just while holding it up with your opposite hand and just work it down. So as you can see, we've utilized virtually every bit of the meat. You can almost see right through that. And with these small, smaller panfish especially, you want to try to get every last morsel because they sure are tasty. Okay, now we're going to skin these fillets and get them ready for the frying pan. Again, this is real simple. Uh, after you clean hundreds of fish like I have, this will be second nature to you. After you clean about 12 of them, if you're a beginner, 12, 15 of them, you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. So, now, again, make sure you... I can't emphasize this enough. A sharp blade is going to make this job a whole lot easier. If you try to do this with a dull blade, uh, you might as well not do it at all because you're gonna, the results are not going to be uh, what we'd like to have. So Now, the fillet, you see it's got this turned upside down. Now I'm just simply going to take about halfway on the knife. Hold down with your fingers here. Now all I'm going to do is just give a gentle sawing motion into the back of the fillet. Once I've reached the skin underneath, I'm going to take with my other hand, I'm going to grasp the skin on the tail and just work the knife back. This, this, this works very easily. I'm pressing pretty hard down the knife blade and what you're doing is you're actually curving that blade a little bit. That will ensure that the knife blade uh, exits uh, between the skin and the fish every time. You can see I'm actually curving the blade a little bit when I do that. So I'm pressing down as I'm moving the blade slowly towards me like this. Just like that. And there's your fillet. Once again, you can see that we've utilized every bit of the fish. Nothing left but skin. Now, all you have left is some rib bones in here. These are real simple to remove. You simply make a V cut. This is basically just a very little bit of, of uh, rib cage and flesh. There, it's, there's really not that much uh, to fool around with on a smaller fish. So, all you need to do is take the knife blade. Now these curve. You're just going to make a V cut. Just follow. You can see the way the rib cage is shaped. You know you got to make a V cut. Just like that. And there you have it. That's a boneless fillet. 
ready for the frying pan. We'll do one more for you. Once again, insert the knife blade just at a little bit of an angle. Grab the skin with your other hand. Now you press down pretty hard. This, I want you to notice this is a flexible blade, this fillet knife. You can see I can bend it. That's a, that's a thin piece of steel. And you want that so when you're, especially when you're cleaning smaller fish, you can see how you, you're not going to break it, so you don't have to worry about that, but you just depress it. Holding on to the skin. And work your way back slowly. I just go with a very slow sawing motion. Don't try to rush through this your first few times. You'll waste the meat. Okay, there again. There's your fillet. Just clean out those rib bones. Make that V cut. Okay. And there you have it. Two beautiful fillets. Nothing but meat. There's not a single bone in these fillets. These are ready for the frying pan or however you like to cook them. You can see all the meat's been taken away. Rib cages, two V cuts. Real simple. Now I might add, if you when you when you get uh, say you're for example you're cleaning a whole lot of fish and uh, you can actually save these uh, these particular cuts right here. Uh, I like to actually use these for stock. The bones, uh, the bones from fish are what you use to make a fish stock. So if you'd like, personally, I take uh, after I've got uh, oh say a brace of 15 or 20 panfish like this, I'll just take these uh, rib cages, clean them up real good. Uh, throw them in a Ziploc bag with a little water, put them in the freezer. Next time I want to make stock, I'll have plenty of uh, fish bones ready to make it with. Well folks, there you have it. It's really that easy. That is the Canadian filleting method. It's the perfect technique to clean a whole mess of panfish. Uh, to work with any kind of fish, especially good for panfish like uh, crappie, uh, bluegills, red ears, uh, sunfish, any type of panfish. Uh, if you, uh, Practice that a few times, you'll be an expert within a couple of days, and uh, make sure you get a sharp knife. Hey, I'm Eric with the Country Lifestyle. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the show.